What's up guys, it is Eric from Varus Engineering and today we are out at Putnam Park doing some testing on our brake cooling kit. Basically we set up a, an A and B comparison on the same car. So basically on the driver's side, we have our full brake cooling kit. So that includes the carbon pancake duct, the orange silicone hose and the backing plate. On the passenger side, we have everything stock. And why did we do that? It's because on the factory side, the factory is actually shooting air towards the rotor in factory format and we wanted to keep that so that it's a, a fair a and b comparison what does our brake cooling kit do what doesn't it do let's do the test so out on track basically we've been doing about four lap stints and we come in hot into the garage and we a measure the rotor temps so basically i do a, a sweep of the rotors with a laser temp gun and we jot down the highest temperature that we read and then we also do that to the caliper right on the outside where the, um, the pistons are. So we get those two measurements, we take the highest measurement, and then we jot those down. We've done four laps, then we did another four laps, so for eight total laps, and then we did six laps, so that's 14 laps, and we might go out one more time to have some fun and see if we can get it any hotter. We've also put on some Omega uh, temp stickers, and these temp stickers permanently change temperature at uh, a degree increment when a temperature is reached so that will be a a finite temperature that where these stickers sit of what each side has has risen to um, so when we get back to the shop we'll take the wheel off and we'll actually take pictures of that throw it in a video throw it in the blog and um, show you the guys there but otherwise that's basically what we're doing as far as testing and how we're doing it and it's obviously same day same car same test same driver and uh, yeah hope you guys enjoy the video all right, so as far as the setup on the car, we are running C21 brake pads by CSG on the front and C11 in the rear. Uh, I believe that's what Zach told me last night. If I'm wrong, I apologize, Zach. Um, factory rotors, factory calipers, everything else is factory. We do have stainless lines on the brakes. This is a fairly standard track package for the Supra, in my opinion. Um, I'm not sure what we would expect if we did this on the Essex kit that will go on our car later this year, but we wanted to do a factory rotor caliper and upgraded pad test to show the temp differences there. We are also currently still running factory tires, so we're not able to push the car as hard as I would like, but it is, it is working out obviously, but um, I would really like to throw some better rubber on there and hopefully in the next few weeks that will happen as we do have some Titan T7s and AO52s waiting at the shop. As you can see at Putnam, we have a very busy track, so every lap is different. I'm obviously joking. Every lap is basically the same because we're able to hit the track with very minimal traffic every time we go out. It makes our job a lot easier to collect data that's actually representative of what you'd see versus when you have slow down laps when you're fighting traffic. We don't have to fight traffic. Everyone's very courteous here. At most, we have like five, six cars on track. And if you ever come up on somebody, they let you by pretty quickly. So that really helps us in testing out here at Putnam and uh, definitely improves our validity in our data, in my opinion. All right guys, we're back at the shop after the track day. It's been about four or five days, but we got the car up on a quick jack system and the wheels off so that we can look at the stickers like I talked about at the track. Now the stickers 
do read a little bit differently than what we are taking at the track. And that's probably because I was measuring the temperatures at different locations. So on the caliper itself, on the ducted side, we're getting a, a max temperature of about, I would say 355 because that 360, not fully turned, it's just kind of barely changing color. So we're gonna say 355 on that. Obviously you don't see anything there because it didn't get up past 410. Now on the rotor surface itself, we're gonna go ahead and say that that's like a 385 to 390. And that does make sense because we were measuring the temperature on the rotor surface itself, not on the hat at the track with an infrared temp gun. The rotor surface is gonna be hotter than the hat. That makes a lot of sense because this is where the friction is actually happening as you're braking. Now, as you actually get closer to the hub, more, <clears throat> more, um, more heat rejection is taking place and there's a larger mass of material there. So it's gonna dissipate heat a lot quicker than say just the rotor um, coming straight off the track. So that does make sense. And then we'll, we'll go ahead and, and view the other side and see the differences. All right, so on the caliper, we're seeing 370. That's a fully changed dot. So it's at least hit 370, maybe higher. On the rotor, we've fully changed on this side. So that's over 400. And if you can see right there, we actually changed to 410. So we've actually seen quite a big jump on the, the rotor itself. And again, at the track, we were measuring temps on the rotor surface itself not on the hat. The hat is aluminum on these, they're riveted on to the irons, which is really cool, but it also means that there's a, a, a big difference in temperature from the iron to the aluminum itself. Um, but those are temp, temp, temp stickers that we uh, used at the track. And then we'll also throw up some graphs of the temperature data we took while at the track, which was basically, I came in, right after uh, a fairly hot lap, drove straight to the garages, and then we took temperatures right in the garage. All right, so from the on-track data, it's very clear that our brake cooling kit is working and actually dissipating quite a bit more heat in both the rotor and the caliper itself. So that's pretty cool to see. Now, it's up to you to decide if this is a beneficial product for you or not, but we're gonna keep on using them. And then we've actually had some customers come out, come to us asking us for a solution to their rotor temps and their brake temps. And uh, we're, we're already shipping out those kits to those guys. Um, really fun test. Uh, it was neat for us to do this. And uh, hopefully we'll do some more testing here in the future. Be sure to like and subscribe, Varus Engineering. Let us know if you wanna see anything particular, um, whether it's at the shop, at the track, a particular car, anything. We're, we're here to basically show what we're doing every day and how we do it. Uh, we don't really have anything to hide and we enjoy what we do. Till next time.